Happy Sabbath and God bless. Just gonna give you a quick walk through. That's that. Well, it's not there now, really. There's a bit of a shell of that tree that was going off down there. Um, it's it's pretty much out. That was giving us most of the embers and sparks that were a worry. Anyway, some of the kids playing. Still a bit of smoke around, but less problems. Um, for uh, for a couple of those lovely people, I'm just going to give a quick walk through. I'm sorry if it's boring for those, but I'll do my best to make it entertaining by not tripping over. Okay, there's the house. It's a, as, look, it's really messy. At the moment, we put tin up all along the front, so you sort of can't see the front. We've just put tin along the bottom to stop anything from getting underneath. And anywhere where there's too much wood, we had tin leaning up. And on the decks, there's tin all over the decks. Um, had some tin up on the greenhouse, but um, the wifey did some watering and stuff. Okay, so we've got a battery pack under there, 12 volt. Stairs going up, we got bottles of water and buckets of water all over the roof, ready to go. Um, okay, here's the kitchen. The second power circuit, that first power circuit under the stairs is only 12 volt. There's a lot of tin over it and stuff. This one does a 240. This does all the fridges, isn't that right? So the place is an absolute mess is our room. Um, there's guitars everywhere. We just literally, we've unpacked cars and packed cars so much. Are you all right? What are you after, sweetheart? You want the water? You take that one. Okay. So yes, that 240 does this section. We've got to eat, eat everything pretty much sectionized. Someone's down here watching a movie or something. What are you watching? Who's under the table? Oh, there you are. My goodness, we've got fire extinguishers. You can see all the tins laid out. We've got fire extinguishers at all the exits and stuff. Oh, hey, Nono. That's where the front doors will be eventually. We're still building. We're still getting this together. We've got like a deck that's going out there. I've got tin just sort of thrown all over it at the moment too. Um, there's our heater. Bizarre, isn't it? When this stuff's going on, we still get the heater on. Anyway, so as I say, the place isn't done, which is great because I'm glad we didn't paint it with all the scribbles the kids do on the stuff. But, yeah, so... There's a kiddies room. Is this a same safe? Here's our bathroom. It's a bit of a mess as well as we had wet towels out everywhere. So, and the bathtub was full of water. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a. We got the porta potty in there too, as well as the normal one. We try and save some water sometimes. This is the other power circuit, which is for summer sewing room which at the moment is a mess as well because we've got stuff out everywhere. Oh, and the last power circuit, which is like, um, again, everything that's 12 volt has like car fuses, anything that's 240 volt, we put all the gas into fridges like this while the big fire was on, keep it all safe. Um, yeah, anything 240, we have ELCBs on, nothing but. Um, this is the back tech. Sorry about that. Said I wouldn't trip over that. Didn't show me right, as you can see anyway. A lot of stuff got hammered. A lot of stuff got broken and that water tank got fully emptied. Went down the hill after us where we were fighting there. That tank got emptied. That's when we were fighting down there. That tank got emptied. Most of that got emptied on the roofs. Um, we had pipes going up, up on the roof with a pump to there and there. Um, I pulled out all my plumbing under the house as you can see and we attached pipes so the bathtub that that's that pipe there we attached a different pipe so we could actually use the full bathtub for a really quick unload we didn't need it but that was just there in case we were in a spot there's the the system up here this is my sheds gay system but it's not like the house but it's it's great the house keep borrowing it we put gas tanks in fridges like that and pretty much the shed's a mess. We moved everything that was valuable to the center of the tabs and stuff. We pulled away from the walls. 
There's a pile of broken chainsaws. Pile of shame. I should have bought a um, high quality one probably to start with. I would have saved some money, but you know. Just trying to be a bit of a cheapskate. Didn't work always, so that's life. Mind you, a lot of this stuff, most of the stuff here we've, we've got second hand. Obviously the rusty tin that we've clad it with is second hand. Um, you know, that something gives it away. Anyway, have a beautiful day, people. Happy Sabbath. Um, it is gorgeous. Um, we'll get this place finished up and then I'll take a nice film of it without all the tin there laying on it, trying to protect it. God bless all of you. Cheers.